Hey everybody, I'm Argelfumpf, the Nancy Drew dude, and today I'm doing a speed run for Nancy Drew, Creature of Kapu Cave. This is going to be exciting. I've never done a speed run for this game before. I haven't actually practiced it, so... Oh, and I just dropped my iPad. Well, that's a great start. <laughs> so, uh, you get to see me speed run this game for the very first time, and, uh... Oh, gosh. I think I just broke my iPad charger. That's great. Okay. Hi, I'm Nancy. Anyway, anyway, I, I'm I'm live streaming this game too, so uh, uh, I've got 39 people watching me break stuff, and hopefully the thing I break is the world record for this game. The current world record is one hour, 29 minutes, and 31 seconds. So that's what I am hoping to beat. I'm hoping to beat the game in uh, under an hour and a half. It's basically an hour and a half is uh, the fastest somebody's beaten one of these games. Yes. Okay, so I've got somebody saying they should be studying for finals, but Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, indeed. And uh, I'm not the hugest fan of this game, but let's get going. I, I think I've got a good route. Okay, so I, I'm going to play on junior mode, and the timer starts. I've got a little timer here, so the timer starts when I hit junior mode. So, three, two, one, yeah! Yeah! No way to skip this opening cutscene. So, uh, the reason I have my iPad here is because it's got my notes on what to do. I've got, like, pictures of the puzzle solutions and everything. So, for example, my notes say, uh, first I talk to Big Island Mike, and the conversation is, uh, two, 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 one, two, two. And by that, I mean I just click the second option in the conversation. So, what I did, uh, what I did was I went through this entire game, uh, Basically went through that conversation over and over and over again and tried out the various uh, ways you could go through the conversation to determine what's the fastest way through the conversation. So I guess you could say technically I have, you know, done the speed run before, but I, I, I haven't like actually recorded a speed run or done it speedily. That was just me testing to see how fast the conversations are, what you need to do in order to trigger things, and stuff like that. Okay, yes, the end game challenge I have not practiced. That'll be fun. Aloha! Just off the bus, eh? If you're looking for a real Did he just shout aloha at me? The right spot. What's up? Has that ever happened before? I don't remember him shouting aloha at me. I, I don't know. I, my memory is not the greatest. Anyway. So basically the fastest way through this conversation is to pick the second option every time. Except for one point where you select the first option, where you say, I hope so. Custom made to fit just you and you alone. You like the beach? I'll get you to the Okay, so there are like three different variations of the conversation, uh, the next conversation we have with Big Island Mike, depending on if you get shells. So if you have extra shells, he says something different. If you have extra necklaces, he says something different. If you have no extra necklaces or no extra shells, he says something different. So there are three different variations on that conversation. Uh, the fastest one is just no extras, no extras. Sounds interesting, but I'm just here to pick up some car keys. My name's Nancy Drew. Oh, you're the wahine who's going to be working up there in the rainforest with Dr. Kim studying bugs. Yeah, most of the conversations in this game are pretty simple and straightforward. Well, I, hope so. I think bugs are really interesting. Not, not too difficult. This one is just too. Uh, this one is just kind of long. That's all. He makes people mess with stuff way worse than bugs. What kind of stuff is he doing? Nobody knows. Big mystery. People who work at Healy Healy, they never stay long, and when they leave, they don't talk. Well, I should probably get going. So generally, the extra shell... Right. Got the key right here, but you know what? I'm not gonna give it to you. I don't think Dr. Kim's gonna like the that. The extra shell is generally by the uh, uh, tree, so I'm not gonna get the shell by the tree. I, I'm trying to remember this. I'm not gonna give you the key until you go to the beach, collect some shells, and make a necklace for me. You can put the shells you find in here. Make me an Aloha necklace. There's a picture of it over at the necklace making table. But I I really think I should go and meet Dr. Kim like I'm supposed to. You make the necklace, I give you the key. Only you know what? You're not gonna want it anymore. You're gonna walk on the beach. Yeah, this conversation is pretty simple. It's just it's just long. That's all. Them, 
<laughs> oh wow, now I've got 60 people watching me play this game. Yeah, no, I totally broke my iPad charger. I, I had my iPad plugged in and then I dropped my iPad. The iPad fell off the desk. Okay, I'm going to stop talking here while I focus on the game. Okay, now we have another long Hello? scene. So did you arrive okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, no, my iPad was plugged in, it fell off the desk, and it broke off. The charger broke off. Well, I have to collect shells and make a necklace before I can get the keys she's left for me. It's a long story. Well, I wish I could be there with you. Believe me, it's done nothing but rain nonstop since I dropped you off at the airport. The sky is just this constant shade of gray. It'd be depressing even with you here. But with you not here, it's... Re oh, my gosh. You're not going to believe this, but Frank and Joe Hardy are here. What? Are, are you sure? Yep. Aloha uh, means hello. It also later, means okay? goodbye. It's but sort of like uh, Latin... Nancy? What are you doing? Latin Hawaiian. They both have uh, the same word for hello and goodbye. Dad heard about do field work for the next two weeks. What are you guys doing here? We got here yesterday. Believe it or not, we're on assignment. Joe. Okay, yeah. There's no way to speed up these conversations. It's just to it just sit and listen to this conversation the whole time. So you know, generally when you're playing the game by yourself, the frass puzzle is the puzzle that takes forever. Actually, I think most of this uh, speed run is going to be actually getting to the frass puzzle because we have a lot of unavoidable things. He's thinking about using Pua in the ad campaign for one of his products. He wants to make sure there aren't any skeletons in either. Okay, so uh, okay, so I'm going to grab shells from everywhere besides the far off spot with the tree. That's all. Then I'm making a aloha necklace and go back to Big Island Mike. So this this opening section of the game is pretty simple. You, you talk to Big Island Mike, he forces you to make a necklace. You make a necklace, you talk to Big Island Mike, and then you leave. That's all. So there's really no way to speed it up. You you kind of have to go through these conversations because there's no way to get the necklace without doing these conversations. But the guy never leaves his office. So we'll see how long this takes. I'm gonna guess what, like seven, eight, nine minutes. Just me and Dr. Kim. Yeah, let's go with nine minutes. So it, it takes you like nine minutes just to Out leave Big Island job. Mike's because he forces Kane you to make this Okala. silly necklace. Oh, Come on, Kane Mike. Kane Okala. That's Hawaiian for rough skinned man. He's this legendary guy who got half burned up in a volcano a millennium or two ago, and now whenever something really bad happens on the island, people start saying they've seen him in the jungle. He doesn't like people messing with his island, see? So he goes yeah, so the two rampages. puzzles that are really Apparently, difficult are, um, fishing. Fishing's a, fishing is a pain. What's wrong with the but, uh, yeah, it's fishing and, uh, um, gosh, I'm forgetting what the other puzzle is. But anyway, fishing is probably going to take a while. Joe, there's just there's really no way to speed that. Oh yeah, the final puzzle. Yeah, fishing and the final Frank. puzzle. Those are like puzzles which are really really like random. I have my cell phone, and so if if the game decides it wants to take a lot of time, it's gonna take a lot of time. Monster repellent. Call us anytime. Frank looks very uncomfortable. Bye. Poor Frank. See you, dudes. Okay. Game always makes sure you makes sure you have enough shells um, uh, in this front part. Did I grab that one? No, I did not. Okay, I'm gonna hope that's the right number of shells, and I'm not forced to go back because that would be sad if I made a mistake. Big Island Mike told me to make an ah. Here we go. So what shells do I need? I did not. Awesome. Great. So actually time this out, uh, making a necklace takes kind of a while, it takes like a 20 to 30 seconds, and fishing also takes like 20 to 30 seconds, so these are basically the same in terms of time. What you would do uh, if you were like manipulating time in uh, this game, uh, or save points, is basically just save while you're on the beach, and, uh, uh, oh, come on. No navigation errors. Come on, I'm talking to Big Island Mike. Okay. It's right there, and it's gorgeous if I do say so myself. Anyway, like I said, um, basically fishing is slightly faster than making a necklace. So uh, you, you'd rather, if you could, just just uh, go fishing the entire time rather than making necklaces. It's the people at Healy Healy. They're doing something that Kane Okala doesn't like. That's why he's back. The people that say he's just a legend. Don't believe them. 
I'll remember that, really. Hope I don't regret this. The rig's out front. Got a GPS Okay, now I run, the and then I go to Camp Quigley. Well, it was nice meeting you. Mahalo. Okay. So this is, uh, this is a point where I can actually speed things up a little bit with Camp Quigley. What you're supposed to do is listen to, uh, one particular thing on the tape recorder in order to, uh, open up her little thing. Uh, open up her little trunk. And when you open up the trunk, you can then leave Camp Quigley. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to focus that. Like, why does Nancy hear that when she's listening to her old messages? Like, when I listen to my voicemail, I don't hear, like, the voicemail recording. You've reached Michael Gray. Because if you've already crossed the bridge, it sounds like you won't be able to get back into town for a couple of days. In any case, be careful, and again, if there's anything Frank or I can do, just holler. Take care. So, on top of being stuck in a ditch, I'm stranded in the jungle. Well, yeah, Nancy's not, alone, not good at driving. Poor Nancy. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. What happened? And where's Dr. Kim? A tape recorder. There's a tape in it. Looks like it needs to be rewound. So you only need to listen to that one thing. And you don't actually have to listen to it. All you have to do is uh, be there while the, while the game plays it. And uh, the game considers that as I've listened to the tape. That particular message on the tape, huh? Pretty cool. That's a time saver. Okay. Interesting lock. That was it. Guess I did one of those things wrong. Darn, that's that's me losing time on my speed run. Oh well. Yeah, Nancy had her phone with her and on the entire time. Area code three one two. Chicago maybe? Okay. What else do we have in this trunk? Security You're supposed to get this, because if you ignore it, the game holds up. Okay, now I look at... Not that. Look at this. The radio doesn't have any power. Okay, I need to look at that in order to trigger this conversation here. A solar panel. Looks like this is what powers the radio. This way I can ask Dr. Craven how uh, the about solar panels. That's basically what I'm doing. A winch. Okay. Alrighty. And I just fixed Nancy's car. Nancy's car, no real big problem so far, besides, uh, you know, the me messing up on the opening that one thing. Opening the trunk. Okay, go to Healy Healy. Slightly faster to use the access card on the door. This saves us like three cent seconds. So I'm gonna use that. Because I get straight up arrested right there. Where did you get that pass? Whereas if, if you press the button, the uh, Nancy will talk about the pass and the guy will ask him to put her hands up and then she'll get arrested. I found it. So it's a little faster. At Dr. Kim's base camp. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. So this is another longish conversation, uh, which I just had to go through over and over and over again. Nancy basically says the same things no matter which options you pick. 
So I went searching through her stuff for something that might tell me where she is. I thought that since she had that pass, someone here could tell me where she is. Well, you thought wrong. And for your information, that pass was reported missing. She probably stole it weeks ago. You think Dr. Kim stole it? Oh, use your brain. This is a private research facility with highly restricted access. Of course she stole it. All right, that's enough. Excuse me? You're jumping all over me when the only Okay, so what I'm going to do now is run downstairs. He's going to give me a job. So I need to go downstairs, get the brown seeds with the white splotch, finish the conversation, and go back to Quigley's camp. I would give anything to know what you're doing with the plants in here. But being a genius does not give you the right to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. Everything you just said is quite correct. The genius part rings Yes, uh, true. there is a second chance in this How game besides a lot of things. Frank can die, um, like I said, I'm in the, uh, in the... If you're interested in when he's swimming, when he's swimming, Frank can die. An entomologist? He well, can drown or he could get uh, drowned in the current. So two different ways to drown. Involved. Smart girl. I'm in desperate need of some photovoltaic cells so I can repair a solar panel back at camp. And I know okay, so now Nancy's triggering this energy. puzzle. So could you by any chance spare me, say... Yeah, Nancy's always breaking into other people's what, places and the stealing their stuff. After you harvest at least a dozen seeds from those plants down there. I'm pretty and sure this is an... Extremely I mean, he, he cuts off the conversation here, basically ends it, some kind of as opposed to Nancy so saying goodbye, and he says, yes, yes, the bugs away. Scratching like a dog at a flea circus. My getting seeds from them is out of the question. But since you're here... You can do it. Just oh, never mind. I guess I say no problem, and that ends the conversation. Okay. Into the container. To know what I mean by viable, just read the notes that I left down there. No problem. Good. Bring me twelve viable seeds, and those cells are yours. I imagine I have to. Pick. Where are those seeds? Oh, oh! I'm not quite done yet. The sooner you are I did proof, not mean to click I on that. I, I was double clicking plans. to pick up now, those I seeds. Uh, you to get to work. Jeez. Okay, well that's mistake number two. Okay, no more mistakes. This is gonna be a mistake-free run. Yep. So fun fact, you can just click in the same area every time. It doesn't really make a difference. Game makes you think you need to, to click all over the board, but no, just click in the same area every single time. Obviously, I'm clicking in this bottom middle area because that requires the least amount of movement of my mouse. Yeah. Twelve viable seeds, I hope. Okay, and now I run forward to Dr. Craven. Finished? Finished. Very good. These will do just fine. And so, as I promised... Instruct Olsen okay, to put and now I fix the solar panel. Vehicle as soon as possible. Right away, Dr. Craven. Unfortunately, even after I've destroyed those little green devils, I'm told it'll be some time before this itching stops. Isn't there something you could take for it? I was prescribed an antihistamine, but I'm afraid taking it will make me too sleepy to get any work done. I still need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. By all means, farewell. So things Nancy says at the end of the conversation are randomized, and the things that people respond to her with are randomized too. Uh, they generally have like three or four different options they'll pick, and the game just, just randomly picks one. You'll just shuffle through them all. Where these new cells go must have something to do with the numbers on them. But what? Okay, here I am, just copying the solution off of my iPad. I've got a screen grab. There, it's working. Okay, and Nancy does not have his, her winch. Next is solar frequency of 18305. I need to look at the post-it note first before I can do that. So, um, yeah. Nancy, welcome. Use this radio to call me at this frequency, 18.305 QK. Power. 
That helps. This is Nancy Drew calling Dr. Kim. Okay, so we've been playing Dr. for like 20 Kim, minutes and we still haven't there? gotten to Dr. Kim. Oh, wait, it's going to be a while before we get to Dr. Kim, right? Because we still need to figure out where she is. Okay, so like I said, uh, uh, a good portion of this game is going to be uh, getting to the frass puzzle. Pretty much everybody bosses Nancy around in this game. Where exactly are you? So here's the thing about uh, calling the Hardy Boys. You'll notice whenever you call the Hardy Boys and then, uh, you know, switch back to Nancy, Nancy's location will have changed. She generally goes to the start of an area, so, like, if you call from anywhere inside the Healy Healy, you get warped to the outside gate. And if you're, if you're anywhere here, you get warped to right next to the car. And if you're anywhere near Dr. Kim... You, you warp sort of to the front of that area. Not exactly to the front of the area, but somewhere close to it. So I'm going to use that as a, a skip, just to save myself some time. Just some traveling time, you know? It saves you traveling time. How am I supposed to figure out where that is? Don't be such a whiner. <laughs> Nancy. I'm being mean to Nancy. Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Well, after I finally got Big Island Mike to give me the keys to the car Dr. Kim had arranged for me, I started driving. Whoa. So what did Dr. Kim say when you told her somebody or something had torn up her camp? Frankly, I'm not sure she heard me. The radio Frankly? You're really not talking bad. to Frank. You're talking to Joe. Alright, so, so with the Hardys, uh, let's see. What you need to do is ask him how to do a uh, try it and trade it, and, and that will let you tell him the conversation. I mean, basically, you're going to go fishing. What you want to do is trigger the conversation about fishing, because that will get rid of Big Island Mike as soon as possible. What you want to do is get rid of him so uh, Joe can snoop around his desk and uh, figure out what the stuff is. will do. Are you going to be able to get back Figure out where the uh, address is. No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Okay. Hey, what's up? Think you could explain this try it and trade it system of yours again? Real simple. Over at the necklace making table, there's pictures of the different necklaces you can make out of shells, okay? You collect shells, you make something, you turn it in, you get whatever the picture says it's worth in Big Island Box. You get enough Big Island Box, you can buy some fishing gear and bait. You go fishing, you catch something, you turn it in, you get paid what it's worth. The better the bait you buy, the bigger the fish you catch, and the more Big Island Box you get. The more Big Island bucks you get, the more stuff you can do in here. Okay, it's faster to pick the second option here rather than complaining, because as you well, can see, hey, complaining can takes longer to you say. You the shells you find in here. Whenever you're ready to turn something in, necklace, fish, whatever, go see Plus, uh, uh, if you complain, he says something along the lines of, Hey, 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 the more no, money I take in, uh, the less I gotta charge customers like you. So I avoided well, that conversation. So that's, that's, uh, that was how I saved time. On the way back, do a little body surfing at this great little beach I know. I'm game. What are Ulua? Big shore fish, real Okay, so now I go fishing. so happens I got their favorite food right here. Well, get ready to take a little time off, big guy, because I am on it. Earthquake! earthquake. Calm down, Joe. It's just an earthquake. So, fishing. Uh, with fishing, doesn't really matter where you click um, at all. First fish you catch is always in a lua. So basically, I want to get as much money as possible uh, during this. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of impossible to get $30, $30, which is how much you need. It's kind of impossible to get the, uh, the desired amount of fish just on your first try. 
you're basically forced to fish twice in order to uh, get it. You technically need 31. You need 30 for scuba diving and $1 for shave ice for Big Island Mike. So... Come to Papa. Later on, when I go fishing, I'll have to do math in order to determine how much money I have. That'll be fun. Let's see, so I'm just gonna go straight to Big Island Mike after this, and that'll be that. So the number of bobs you have in between uh, fishing is just randomized. It's just randomized. So if you're going to like save state abuse, you would have to save between every single throw of uh, the fishing rod. That way you make sure you get the, the expensive fish all the time and you make sure that you get them quickly instead of waiting like for 10, 10 seconds, wait for eight. I don't know how many seconds, I wasn't counting. Yeah, Treasure in the Royal Tower is a good game. Uh, Speedrunning it is kind of a pain. The first part of the speedrun is just doing all those chores for uh, Dexter. And you have to do that so he'll fix the, um, you know, fix Nancy's radiator and, and give her that thing of oil, which allows you to get to the Royal Tower. So the first part of the game is really, you know, getting through the game as quickly as possible. All you do is just chores, straight chores for a while. Okay, we're now 25 minutes into this game. And we still have not met Dr. Quigley. And I have not wasted that much time. I've been playing this game about as quickly as possible. Looks like I'm getting close to the end of the fishing challenge here. Alright, one more to go. Wow. Messed up on clicking there. Come on, clicking fingers. Work with me. So those fish are the best. Um, oh no, the Alua are the best. Anyway, I get paid for all these fish except the Alua. So the second from left fish gives you $2 per fish and the other two only give you $1 per fish. So if I want to get something that's not an Alua, I want to get the uh, second from left fish because that will give me the most bang for my buck. I'm fairly certain that, you know, if you reach a point where you get enough fish that aren't a Lua, the game will just force you to get nothing but a Lua, just to prevent this challenge from gotcha. being Lua forever. Six. Okay. Joe, what are you doing here? You should be out there surfing. Kua says you're a natural. Dude, you Which sent me fishing. What else do you so, think I'm like doing that, here? No big deal. Got my heart going, that's for sure. Pele must be mad about something. Oh, I need to start typing in a moment no, here. Today, nothing. But tomorrow, if she wanted to. If you select the other option there, he talks more about Pele, so it's it's faster to uh, skip that. But enough about Pele. Go, get outside. You're in paradise. Enjoy. Those fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Hey, you did it. Wasn't sure you were okay, ready for Okay, so it. I Looks got like six. I'm going to have to stock the store with uh, my Lua Bay from now on. Twelve bucks, that's Temple all? Ugh, oh, man. Last I saw, she was still trying to teach Frank how to surf. I was hoping for a Your lot more. A learner, I think huh? that's enough to get, to uh... Welcome Mr. Mapu. Have a nice drive. Okay. 
just go forward until you hear the car, and then you go back. Ah, alone at last. Alrighty, open up this. So, look at this. That should be it. Rock, where would I be? Wait a minute. Three finger rock. That's what that bug doctor must have said. Three finger rock. I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. You have reached Nancy Drew. Dude, Who's Nancy, pick up your phone every Office once in a home. while. Please leave a message. Hey, Nance, good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees 24 hours 42 minutes by west 155 degrees 9 hours 1 minute gosh i'm good yeah you're pretty awesome hey and ow hey nance good news i figured out that dr kim is and this is what i said off. earlier uh she's nancy was inside the off. tent when she called she's now she's outside north the tent now nancy is just walking around uh while we're playing as a hardy boy Thank you, Joe. Okay, I've got to type in these uh, coordinates. So, oh boy, 1924. Come on. 1924. 42. 1 so uh, one thing I'm doing different from uh, the world record speed run, I'm doing things in a slightly different order. I'm going to get the frass here uh, on my way uh, to Dr. Quigley rather than uh, getting it after she officially starts the frass puzzle. And I'm going to be doing most of the uh, other Hardy Boy stuff, uh, I think right here. I think the other route uh, does it later. And when I say right here, I mean like in five minutes. First I have to do this... Uh, fetch quest for Dr. Quigley because reasons. So you need to get every single bag of frass in this game. Including the two at, uh, at Kapu Cave. There should be another one here. Yep, there we go. And this this conversation with Hello? Quigley, uh, this was another one which took forever to get through. Yes, your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? You're Dr. Kim? Please. Just call me Quigley. Hearing okay, me so uh, basically what, what Quigley does is she goes on to uh, two of those longer, uh, what do you call it, digressions. She goes on a long digression. She goes on two of them. And basically what you do here is you determine which of the digressions she goes on first. Uh, the one about her father, and then uh, I forget what the other one's about. So, uh, if you do the one about the father uh, first, she tells you, don't let me digress again. If you do the second digression first, then uh, she just gets mad and goes goes back to what she's doing. your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Good. Now, I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasites. Okay, here's the second uh, uh, thing she goes on a, a digression about. Okay. Hymenopter aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. As you know, I'm much more interested in So now she's going to get mad at me because she's already told me to stop her from digressing, right? studying Norsa Beta Odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ignomonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva. It's still slightly faster. I mean, like I said, uh, basically... see, I'm digressing here, am I not? The faster way through the conversation is to have the dad digression first. Right. Well... Let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? And now we get to the meat of the conversation, which is clipboards. clipboards. When we talked on the radio? Look, I'll go back and get it, okay? I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky start here. The sooner you get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Oh, shoot. I forgot.
forgot to tell her that somebody trashed her camp. And now it's just clicking all the way back. Click, 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 click. Generally, you can, uh, there's a sweet spot, and as you can see, I've hit that sweet spot where I, I just keep my mouse. I don't move my mouse left or right or anything. I just click, click, click like a madman to get out of there. And now I get the clipboard and then back to Quigley. Okay, and then oh come on. There we go. That's that's where the clipboard Must be is. Dr. Kim's notes. Whew, looks like Greek to me. Cute. Okay. You can click on the car there, you don't actually have to turn around to get into the car, so that's a minor time saver. And like I said, uh, you know, when we when we talk to somebody, we can uh, just make Nancy move. So I'm going to use that to uh, make Nancy escape uh, the long walk all the way back to the car. Because the long walk back to the car, this is the longest trip of the game. Quigley? Uh, the second longest is Healy Healy. Uh, going from Healy Healy to uh, uh, outside when Dr. Craven does his little angry thing about fighter men. Now, uh, you can just call the Hardy Boys to skip that. Because basically, once you fertilize the plants, uh, Dr. Dr. Craven will start shouting at fighter men. Whoever trashed your camp did. So you, you avoid you hearing that about? angry rant by uh, using oh the God, cell phone, but what happens yeah, is it doesn't do anything. Like you still so have to go back to uh, Dr. Uh, Craven's, and, I tried to tell you and then you uh, the have to listen to it again. Well, life goes on. Okay, so the fastest way through this conversation is the first option, then the second option. I accidentally selected the second option twice. Darn! Okay. What kind of data? You'll need to locate all my frass jars and empty... Okay, so there we go. 35 minutes into the game and we started frass jars. Then return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Uh, could you maybe repeat that? It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, big-time, worldwide fame. We'll be on Oprah, late-night talk shows, somebody might even make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer when I was in L.A. last year. Well, he hasn't produced anything yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley! What? You're digressing? Oh, right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so like I said, call the Hardy Boys. You can basically uh, switch to Frank. It doesn't matter Sorry. when you do this. You can do this at any point uh, in the in, in the Frash Challenge, even after the Frash Challenge is over. What uh, happened? I think the other run, like I said, the uh, the current world record speed run. Uh, I believe they call Frank as soon as Nancy goes right up to Kapu Cave and sees the teeth. So you don't know. But uh, I'm calling Frank a little bit earlier. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew, this Quigley lady sounds like she's going to be a real taskmaster. Like I said, I'm, I'm mostly well, just calling no Frank here her. just so okay. I can skip uh, skip just going all the I way will. back through so the forest. How are you doing? I'm trying to figure just out one what time, that's all I can do. Just bad luck, or whether there's more going on around here okay, so as Frank, well, I'm going... Okay. Just holler. Deal. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So as Frank, what I need to do is grab this. And then talk to the pawnbroker, so I can trigger a conversation with Pua. So the pawnbroker's conversation, I pick option two, then option four, and then I end the conversation. So this is the fastest way to get Pua to talk about the chamber. So I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure. What's the number? It's receipt number five seven four four one. Hi, Gon. 
Yeah, it took, took a while for me to figure out how to get through this quickly. Because basically what you want to do is trigger the conversation with Pua as quickly well, as possible. Know, that depends on why you're asking. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Come yeah, so we need to ask guy. him about Big hey, Island Mike's. Cooper. Yeah. Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number too, but he never picks up. Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging some people around? Are I know some people think this is the game that, uh, I mean, a lot of people think this is the worst Nancy Drew game. Some people think, uh, the Shattered Medallion. I think the Shattered Medallion, because that was the 30th game and we knew Sunny June was there and they were trying to make it extra special. Because we had high hopes for that game, uh, you know, that makes it seem more disappointing than it actually is. How's Joe doing? Okay, Puas. He's still at the clinic, but he'll be You fine. pick the first conversation Nothing here. Like ever happened to a uh, option before. every single ever. time. You're not gonna like sue us or anything, are you? But yeah, because because oh, that's a relief. Because the guy who clobbered Joe. Oh no 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 no! This is not a conversation I need. You know, you sound just like the police. They asked me the same. Darn! Thing. Oh. Really? Must be all those cop shows I watch. Like I told the police. I have no idea who that guy was. My mistake. I was trying to get the fish conversation. I was trying to get the fish conversation. There you go. Okay, so that's another mistake. Okay, what else? I'm not sure. And uh, talking to the pawnbroker triggered this. Your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. What do you mean? Like what? Like hiding or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. What? Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was... Now I get to have a long conversation with Big Island Mike. Somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava tubes, tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's Yeah, this so game big. is similar to the He's Shattered Medallion in that we've got a bunch of puzzles, but they don't really seem connected. Like, the storyline with Big Island Mike here uh, doesn't really seem connected with finding bugs in the jungle. Being down there is still there. There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is, from the water. It says so on this old chart my dad has. Then what are you waiting I mean, the for? end of the game the kind of is, tries to tie these two to storylines together, but not in, like, the, the greatest of ways. Oh, well. Been able to figure it out. But if you can okay, well, if anybody's got any really amazing questions, or just questions for me about this game, uh, just, just throw them here while we're, we're having conversations, uh, because I, I can pretty much focus on the chat while, uh, I'm talking. I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? Okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation. What do I think of Frank and Joe's design? I, you know, like everybody else, I, I preferred the way that the Hardy Boys looked in uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Does that happen a lot? Have I ever been to Hawaii? Yeah, I've been to Hawaii once. It, it was when I was a kid. I, I barely remember it. I was probably what ten or so. Used to work here. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer. I'm no poorer. He's gone. I'm here. No big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. My brother and I would feel a lot better if we knew who did it. You want to look around? Play detective? Like so if you want it, if you picked a different uh, conversation curious. option, we would go on about the uh, guy's shoes. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to make you guess. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well, you'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. I think I can handle that. Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Now that right there was a conversation option where, uh, you know, no matter which option you pick, he has the exact same response. There. Now I'll just take this to Big Island. So the fastest uh, way through that is just to pick that that option because it's shorter. It takes it takes Frank less time to say it. 
Got a shave ice for you to try. That is really the only thing that makes that option faster, because his response is the exact same no matter which option you pick. You did it. That was my favorite flavor Okay, so with this, uh... Coconut and mango. This, uh, uh, little chest here, the, the pieces here. always start Thanks off in the exact have. same Catch way. Okay. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so the pieces always start off in the exact same position, so you could easily, I was easily able to figure out what's the fastest way through that puzzle? What is the smallest number of clicks I need in order to get through it? And that's it. Hello? Hey, Nance, it's me. Listen. I just came across something kind of I do weird, like message in a haunted mansion. You know, I like the 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 what is it? the, the well, it's a drawing of like games three through uh three through five. I don't I'm not a fan of like six well, or seven, and then like eight through ten were good. Uh, actually, no, eight and nine were good. I didn't really like Shadow Ranch. But then, uh, like uh, eleven through thirteen were all like home runs for me. Bye. And there we go. Okay. Oh no, I did something wrong. Oh my, my goodness. Okay, don't worry. Um, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, so with this part with the frass puzzle, we've got a couple of things we can do at once. Oh no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I gonna note and identify? So, um, that right there is actually kind of helpful. I, I skipped Nancy's complaints. Hopefully that doesn't make any problems. I didn't mean, I didn't do that last time I played the game. Okay, 04, okay, 119, 159, 105. Great. So you need to look at that page of the um, of the clipboard in order to get the coordinates for Kapu Cave. Otherwise, the game will say, "Hey, you you don't know where Kapu Cave is." Come on. Okay. 19, 20, uh, 30, 155, 05, 33. In a Kapu Cave, you need to get two of those frass things, because like I said, we need to get all six frass things. So yeah, what I did there, um, was not intending it, worked pretty well. I had Nancy interrupt Nancy there to cut off Nancy, and that saves me a little bit of time. So do not go up to Kapu Cave at this point, because that will trigger a conversation with Dr. Quigley, and that's not good. Uh, an optional conversation. Basically, she'll talk about those webs. Talk about the webs. Nancy and Quayley will talk about the webs, and it's a time saver not to have that conversation. Okay. And uh, what you wanted to do was make sure the microscope is broken. State your business, because with the please. broken microscope, uh, oh, that triggers this play? puzzle Start here at Healy Healy. Right so really, you could have gone to Kapu Cave before seeing the microscope, oh, no. or, uh, well, even really? after uh, seeing the microscope. Please. doesn't really matter if you do it before or after. It's Dr. not Craig. that... Uh, it doesn't really make a difference time-wise. But that's an option. That's an option. I know you're busy, but I really yeah, so the way Frank and Joe before. look Can on I the phone and Labyrinth of minutes? Lies, those, uh, uh, I think I those pictures of them look sort of like the way they did in uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I, I don't get to see her anymore. Anyway, what can I do? For that was Dr. Craven showing an emotion which was not anger. This is the only time in his life he has felt emotions besides anger. Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. It's like the movie Inside Out. Uh, he's definitely got anger, 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 and regret. 
Those are his five yeah. emotions that Good. run him. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants <laughs> I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error... I know. I, I like Ransom of the Seven Ships. I'm one say, of the three I people that like that game. Extremely upset. Got it. Because I could just, just turn off my part of my brain that said, Hey, Nancy Drew games are about mysteries and, 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 and interrogating suspects. And I said, Hey, Nancy Drew games are all about puzzles. And the Ransom of the Seven Ships is basically just puzzles. I like some of the puzzles. I especially like the uh, slider puzzle, which was like a two-part slider puzzle. That was creative. is yours. Anything else? I'll go now, but I really appreciate your talking to me. Good luck and demologizing. So like I said, he's gonna get mad at uh, Fighterman here. Yes. And you could use this phone what? to skip over no, this conversation, no, no, no. but that's Those not a time saver. Irreplaceable. How could anyone Actually, the, that I, I tried that, and what oh. happened was uh, Tell me his name. the game tried to do Where both do things at Mr. once. Fighterman that he if that makes any sense. So Dr. Craven was supposed to be sleeping and yelling at Fighterman at the exact same time. So the game got mad at me for trying to trying to break the game that way. That was not a time saver at all. Oh well. Okay, so next I'm gonna go um Oh gosh, I don't have any time to read my notes. Hopefully my notes are good. Uh, okay, so I grab this. That's all I have to do there. Wonder what this thing does. Okay, brilliant. Okay, get the number. Quigley conversation. Yeah, okay, so we finished with part one of the Frass puzzle about 50 minutes into the game. 119,456. All right. 50 and a half minutes. It, it's honestly not that uh, not that much of a difference there, yeah. So that's the fastest way through uh, that particular thing. Uh, if you try to do things at different times, like the game will get all silly. Like Nancy will say, hey, I need to put the clipboard thing in yet. Uh, or I haven't put the clipboard thing yet. She'll mention stuff like that. She's got like one or two phrases like, I need to use the microscope first, or I need, yeah. So I just avoided those by uh, putting things in that way. Well, I'm all This done. is another short don't conversation. Tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, the number of your formula machine... Okay, the White Wolf uh, Icicle Creek puzzle. I actually like the ice cleaning puzzle in White Wolf of Icicle yes, Creek. Yes, Fox and Geese is just true. a long, takes forever puzzle. Some people like it. It's... I think it's fun unless I'm like live streaming the game and I've been live streaming for three hours and I want to finish. I wish I knew what you were talking about. You just confirmed that for some reason the Norsa Beta Odorata. Obviously faster here not to get a lecture on bugs. At an unheard of rate. And that's a big deal? It's huge. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Anywhere. It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. Okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out why it's happening. The Secrets Can Kill Remastered is great. I love the, uh, I especially love the Students of the Month part. Uh, yeah, Mr. September. That guy is amazing. I love Mr. September. He is clearly the best character of the entire game. Spoiler alert, I play Mr. September. <laughs> it is so amazing I was in a Nancy Drew game. That still makes me kind of giggly. Here I am, a grown man about to turn 32, and I'm giggling because my picture was in a video game. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I don't know if Dr. Craven's going to be awake or asleep. I think I think he's going to be awake. That's what happened um, when I was uh, trying to figure out how the uh, speed run route would work. But 
but uh, I saw in the world record speed run that uh, Dr. Dr. Craven was already asleep. State your business. Oh, it's you. What is it now? Oh, see, he's awake. It's been wonderful talking. So this is going to be fun. Yes, well, Watch this. Guess how long it takes him to fall asleep. One, two, Dr. sleep. Dr. Craven? Yep. Yep. That's how quickly he falls asleep. Perfect. Dr. Craven. Wow. Like, he must have taken some powerful sleeping pills to fall asleep that quick. I mean, he must have sprinted over to that chair to fall asleep that quickly. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry. I found that hilarious. Spider-Man, number 14-667-93. Alright, looks like employee number 14-667-93, otherwise known as Spider-Man... I wish I could fall asleep that quickly. Yes, that would be amazing. I would not be like lying in my bed at night. I would just be <laughs> one and done. Okay, okay, okay. 13, locker number 13. Okay, four. Ah, left two. Made a mistake there. Clicked one too many times. Ah! Doesn't really matter if you overshoot it and then go back. The game doesn't matter. I mean, the game doesn't care uh, if you do that. Okay. There are multiple ways to the room here. This would be the fastest one. Fourteen, six, six, seven. Okay, nine, three. Ah, see, I accidentally triggered that conversation. I was hoping not to do that. The fastest one is to only hear extract codes. So, uh, unfortunately, that things did not work out that way for me. Sorry, everybody. So. Yeah, you want to just click on extract codes before Nancy says anything, but if she is forced to say something, saying extract codes is shorter. So you would go extract codes, then shipping, and then extract codes. What I'm doing here, what I'm doing right now here, is you click on this and that and that. It's no time, no time lost. What you're supposed to do is hit shipping and then extract codes. I went extract codes, shipping, and then extract codes. All that does is split up the extract codes conversation in half. Doesn't save a, a, or waste any time. Okay, get from this plant. Come on, there we go, and escape. Still no friend of the intruder. Over. You want to slow down a little bit there, otherwise you'll take a step forward right into that guy and walk into his back, and that would obviously be bad. Because then you'd get the game over, and I need to walk straight to the exit. Why am I slowing down? No, no slowing down. Okay, back to Camp Quigley. Okay, so I clip on the bag, then the stopper, then the tube, then the leaf, then the stopper, then the tube. I wrote down the list of, uh, uh, this is the order I need to click on everything. <laughs> because I just could not remember. There's that weird whispering again. And now this is just going to be a little bit of back and forth with Quigley. We've already had that, so... Not that big a deal. Yeah, it's just going to be running uh -oh. quickly. The color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. I guess I better go tell Quigley. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this conversation um, doesn't have any conversation options, I don't think. We just talk to her, and then she just sends us back. And then we go back, and then we come back to her. Run, 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 as fast as you can. Quigley, can I talk to you? 
Yeah, so if you had gone all the way to the face at Kapu Cave, uh, Nancy and Quigley would have a conversation about the uh, spider webs here. So, so that, that, that is the conversation I avoid by not going to Kapu Cave uh, earlier. Okay, almost done with Frass. Okay, and about an hour into the game. Okay, 59 minutes. That was 59 minutes uh, there. So I'm still, 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 still trying to uh, beat the, however the time is. Okay, so... So here I just use this. Third from bottom is the fertilated flag beetle. A match. So looks like those caterpillars have been eating fertilated flag okay, beetles. Okay, in this Quigley conversation, I pick are. option number one, and then I get the nose ring, and I will start the end game challenge for Nancy. stop doing their dance. Have you got something? Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles. Fritillated flag beetles? No. No, that's not possible. I've never even heard of a fritillated flag beetle. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying the great array similar to the beta arm. Is. Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. Oh, I do my best thinking. Okay, I'm bringing up my calculator so I can uh, do the fishing puzzle. So I can uh, know how much money I have on the fishing puzzle. Okay, that's going to be our next big thing. You can hear the baby screaming from upstairs. Mom's watching the baby. Mom watches the baby while dad plays video games. Dad is a horrible parent. Okay, I go straight to Kapu Cave here. And uh, just like the uh, Honi Awa puzzle we had earlier, the starting position of all the things is basically the same every single time. So that helps. Let's grab the nose ring. Look at all those. Wonder what the deal is with a nose ring. Of course. So because the starting position is the same every single time, it was really easy to figure out what's the fastest way through this puzzle. I can move his teeth now. Bam. Go forward a bunch, Nancy's gonna jump, turn left and go forward, uh, pull out the tongue, then just go forward again. It opened! I better call and tell Frank. <laughs> I'm gonna you call Frank! Leave. Because, Joe, yeah. Friendly. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Yep, so this is pretty simple uh, in terms of speed running. It's just run really fast, click really fast, and that's it. Turn left. Do, 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 do. Okay, did that. Now I go all the way forward. Okay, so here I just don't mess up when I uh, 
click the uh, puzzle solution. So it's one, two, three, four. I've got a picture. Again, try to get my mouse in the sweet spot so I can go all the way forward. That was not it. Death. Ugh. My mistake, everyone. It's what happens. I, I think that's been a problem for me uh, relatively in this uh, speed run. And it's like, oh. Click too many times in a row, you get yourself in trouble. Okay, dodge right as soon as I can, and fish until I get 30, 30. Yep, because I need 30 in order to go snorkeling. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up, and I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyways, Somebody's asking, does something surprise me after beating a game and going back to replay it? You know, I've learned new things about this game, like the fastest way through these conversations. Okay, so I've got $11. Oh, I only have 11 that's right. Okay, so that means I'm buying this bait. Okay, I've got three dollars. Okay, so I start off with three dollars. I'm trying to get thirty. All right, fishing. Hopefully I get in the Lua. I probably won't. Okay, that's a two-pointer. Okay, three plus two. Bingo. That's a one. Plus one. Okay, so I'm at six now. That's seven. Yes! Oh man, that's a six, I think. How much is an Alua worth? Somebody, quick, look it up. How much is an Alua worth? I thought it was six. I could be wrong. Anyway, that'll give us 13. Okay, that's one, so 14. Yeah, no, it's worth six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, and that's two, so that's uh, 14 plus two, that's 16. So 17 there. Yeah, in order to get 30, I'm going to have to get another Lua or uh, a lot of those two fish, aren't I? There's a two fish? Okay. That puts me at 19. Twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one. 
and I'm at 23, okay. Still kind of a ways off from 30. Yes. Oh man. 25. I think I've got this everyone. I think we can do it. Without going fishing a third time. That would be brilliant. Yeah, just one. Okay. So I'm at 26. The Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake is kind of a short game. It's only got three characters, so it feels a little bit yes. shorter compared to all the others. A lot of puzzles too. I've seen the speed run for that game. It's basically it's basically solving Red Knot's giant bird puzzle, and then it's the uh, the speakeasy puzzles, and then that's basically it. That's that's the game. Okay, I'm at 28 now, which means I'm gonna get 30 no matter what. If my final thing is an Alua, I'm just gonna be mad. Some people say that Alua show up in the top right. Uh, somebody just said that here. I've never found that to be the case. Actually, okay, here's something that surprised me. I just noticed this uh, earlier today that the fishing bait on Zippies is called yes. Red Herring. Red Herring as in a false clue and a mystery. It was cute. Uh, hey, what's going on? Got you some more fish. So, what I mean, it? that was a surprise for me. Pick I thought up. that was cute um, that the Zippy stuff is, is named after a, a detective term. So I got exactly 30. Wow. Imagine how much time I would have okay, saved. What else? Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got Oh, I don't have it, do I? You can. Oops. Guess I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to punch else? you in the face I'll check game. Back you later. Sounds good. I didn't mean to say that. That was mean. Okay. Um Yep, no. I have to go fishing again because the game just totally destroyed me. Yeah, that is not fair. See, if I had gotten just two more, uh, just one more Alua, I would have been put over. Because I, uh, apparently I'm at 28. Yeah, I just needed... I one. <sighs> okay. I was at 28. Dang! I was at 28 Big Island Bucks, and now I have to go back and spend six Big Island Bucks in order to get more fish. Okay, so I need to get eight now. So I've gotten one. Now I've gotten two. Give me the worthless, worthless fish. Also another worthless fish. Yeah, these fish just give me one. There we go, okay. Well, I'm at six. I need two more points. Yeah, that Sudoku puzzle and Shadow at the Water's Edge was just monstrously painful. Okay. So Lua are only worth four points and not not six. Ugh. Well If I had gotten a second Alua there, I would have been I would have been good to go. Okay. And if this does not put me over thirty, my math is incorrect and I am sad. Hey, what's going on? Got you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Okay, what else? 
Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? As long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. There you go. And so how long go. was that, that, uh, how, I mean, how much time did the game waste on me there with, uh, Anything else? See you in a bit. with Sounds fishing? Good. A couple of minutes? Oh well. You're supposed to look at that eel first before you can enter this puzzle. Now the solution to this puzzle is left, uh, right, right. Now it's gonna be left, right, left, right. No, it takes you like 20 Whoa. minutes to do the uh, Sudoku puzzle. I think it took me a half hour. Even if you've got the uh, answers written out ahead of time, it's still going to take you a while just to put everything in. Notice I saved a little bit of time there by running forward. Uh, the game expects you to stop, and that's why uh, the game kind of expects you to stop there. Okay, come on, right? There we go. Cow, Bam. Okay. Covered with tiny beetles. Man, End game challenge coming up here. Those beetles are going for it. Big time. Whoa! Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, the cutscene was playing doing? while Frank was still I, talking to each well, other. Talking to himself. Uh, that's why I think what the game does this? not expect you to run forward and see the cutscene yet. Dad? How did you get in here? I finally found a lava tube that bypasses the main tunnel. I kind of like the ending of Castle Malloy. I like the, uh, I, you know, launching a rocket so into space. That was sure. cool, but other than that, um, it's over for Culprit is kind of a strange right one, just yeah, like this no, game. Culprit is a character we've never met before. Wait a minute. You're in oh yes, in Big Island Mike's, Mike's ponytail. God love that ponytail. You can see his ponytail, uh, you know, if you stare at him from the side inside his office. Most people didn't notice his ponytail until this point in the game. Yeah, so this is a long enough conversation. Um, yeah, kind of long conversation. But, uh... And if you could just not we have to, to about we have to listen to this whole thing and then do the end game no, challenge. Now the end game challenge the is randomized, so fingers crossed I do not get stuck there. Whoa! Whoa! I actually like the sheep catching in Castle Malloy. That was I don't know. What you have to do is uh, if you save your game. Just save your game and then reload. Uh, the sheep are always going to be in the exact same positions if you save if you save your game. So uh, I did that whenever I got really stuck in uh, the sheep catching in Castle Malloy. Like, okay, I save my game. Is the sheep in the upper right hand area? No. Okay, reload the game. Is the sheep in the right area? Oh, yes, it is. And that way you avoid you basically avoid the uh, situation where you know I check the upper right. But the sheep uh, goes to the upper right when I'm uh, checking somewhere right? else. Because the sheep move. Alright, let's do this. Oh no you didn't, Big Island Mike. He cut off the thing that I was jumping on. Okay, don't do this again, Big Island Mike, otherwise I'm going to be mad. Yeah, the logic behind this is just crazy. Yes, and Big Island Mike and Pua don't react to whatever Nancy just said. Maybe they weren't paying attention. I don't know. Ten hours later. Okay, great. Okay, I have a way to the exit. As long as none, as long as that rock doesn't disappear, I'm good. It's still there. Game over. Game, okay, so time when the ending letter starts. The time is called when the ending letter starts.
Oh man, I've never been so glad to see something Guys, we did it. Life. This is a world like record. Work, I beat no, the game in that. under an hour and a half. Thing wasted. This is okay. We're gonna get a final time in just a moment. With you. Big guy Bam. Mike and Pua finally One hour, and eighteen minutes, nice and fourteen seconds, and, and then like fifty-three milliseconds. I don't know if it's exactly fifty-three or not. I'll have to double check <laughs> uh, what the final time is uh, in uh, in the uh, movie maker thing. Okay, so we beat the world record for Nancy Drew, creature of Kapu Cave. Woo! Despite some problems with fishing that made me want to punch the game in the face, we still beat the world record. All right, everybody, we did it. It's a new record! Oh my gosh, just imagine if I had gotten just one more... If I had gotten just one more fish uh, during the first time I had gone fishing, I would have had 12 Big Island bucks. Then I would have gotten the expensive bait that's worth uh, 12 that's worth 12. Then I would have gotten a lua fish, uh, you know, and uh, gotten to 30 faster. I guess maybe the moral of that story is if you're on the fence of with like 12, uh, go fishing before doing the the uh, shave Dr. ice Ken challenge. Finally figured out that the weird whispering noise I had heard was the beetles rubbing their little okay. together. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Kind of okay. Larvae, well, thank you for watching, everybody. I'm glad you enjoyed watching me destroy this game. We could beat the game in under an hour and 20 minutes. So let's say an hour and 20 minutes is now like uh, the general amount of time, which is considered good for a speed run. Now, would there be a way to make this speed run even faster? If you have any ideas, let me know. Any ideas? Any ideas of how I could beat the game even more? More quickly. Who it turns out is the one who tore I Dr. doubt Kim's you could get the game in under an hour. Was working with plant mutations. Public pressure may have indeed caused the Healy Healy that to seems, close its doors. That seems like it's pushing it. But thanks to Frank and Joe and Dr. Kim and yours truly, the Mapu's plot was exposed, and the fritillated flag beetle population quickly fell to its normal size, as did that of the Norso Beta Odoratomon. So, how did I spend the rest of my time on the Big Island? Well, let's just say when it comes to cleaning I want to see what stars, award I get. I am an expert. Is there an award for being fast? Green thumb! Because I made pod picking and flower fertilizing look easy. I sure did. Yay! Yeah, Pooh and Mike don't really get punished for that. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. They come for when